What is up guys, in today's video I'm going to be going over 10 different projects you can create in Python and they're going to be from easy to difficult and I think these are some very good projects if you are learning Python or you want to improve your skills in Python. And let's get started immediately. So the first project I recommend to create is the most basic one. It is a chatbot. You simply insert some text into the terminal and the bot will respond depending on what you input. And this can be quite tricky depending on how you want it to react because sometimes you want it to respond to certain sentences in a certain way and it can easily mix up the inputs depending on what you're asking it. So it's definitely one of the better projects to start off with in Python. A second easy project you can do in Python is a currency converter. And what makes this a good project is that you need to retrieve the latest currency data from online and you need to actually use that to convert whatever number you input to whatever currency you want to output. And giving the user some selection would be great as well. So this actually teaches you how to retrieve data from API and how to handle the data once you've received it. Okay, moving on to the third project and it's going to get a little bit more difficult from here. What we're going to be making now is an email scraper. And what this essentially does is you create a bot that goes over some web pages. It can be any URL you want, and it retrieves all of the emails that are found inside that URL. So this actually has to do with regex and web scraping to create an algorithm that can successfully recognize the emails and insert them into a list so you can later spam them later. And it will be a bit tricky with regex because it is one of the more difficult tools, but also one of the most powerful tools you will use in web scraping. Moving on to the fourth project. And this one is not going to be as fun as it looks because it is a calculator. And while it is very basic, it is quite difficult to implement all the features that a calculator might have. So I definitely recommend you try making a calculator because it's going to teach you a lot about how to combine data types. And it's also going to go more in depth about how you can create some very powerful functions that make numbers go together in certain ways. Okay, moving on to project number five, which is a email notifier. So just pretend you've been scraping some data from the internet or you have some calculation that updates every few hours. It's really annoying to go back to your Python console and check what the updates are each time. It would be cool if you could have a email notification every few days or every few weeks that updates you with the results that you were looking for. You're going to have to work with email APIs that allow you to send messages to your own email. So you're going to have to go ahead and create another email and learn what the protocols are for sending emails to other users. Which brings me to project number six, which is creating your very own API. And if you're creating a price alert, a email notifier, or even a chatbot, you definitely want to have an API where you can grab the information from 24 seven because of course the best thing you can do is create a script that runs 24 seven. And there are some very great sites for this that you can actually test out your scripts for free and your APIs for free. And I definitely recommend trying Python anywhere. And while I think they're very difficult to learn how to use, I think it is one of the best services that you can find on the internet for free. Moving on to project number seven. So there are plenty of messenger services on the internet, such as WhatsApp, Telegram, Signal, and even just Facebook Messenger. And something really fun to do is to actually find a way to automate that with your own bot. Because sometimes you might not be there and you might want to send a message to a group or to a single person while you're away on holiday or just for fun. And some of these will have APIs that make it very simple like Telegram and the other ones will have a more difficult system to use such as WhatsApp. They have a paid API which is really difficult to use unless you have a lot of money. And finding your own workaround with either Selenium or even just pi out to GUI can be quite the challenge to make sure it works 24 seven and also to get the script running on a server. So this is definitely one challenge I recommend you try is creating some bots for messenger apps. Now moving on to project number eight. One project that should be fairly simple but also fairly difficult is creating your own messenger system which means you'll have one Python project and another Python project and these two Python projects will be able to communicate with each other and it can be quite interesting because maybe you can even send the script to a friend and you can start communicating through the script to your friend wherever he lives using Python. So it's a really cool project that should help you with understanding how to create a connection between two scripts. Moving on to project number nine. So this project has to do with creating your own URL shortener, which means you will insert a link and it will shorten it to whatever you want it to be with a custom name. And 
It can just simplify life a lot if you have your own service for this, and people will be very grateful if you have the knowledge how to do this. And finally, I saved the best for last, or at least I think it's the best, and this is a stock prediction project because it's actually going to be a very big project. You have to keep a lot into account when you're making stock prediction, and it's not just as simple as looking at a graph. Essentially, you might want to add some machine learning, some sentiment analysis, you want to web scrape a lot of information, and depending on how you process this information will determine how good your predictions are going to be. And it is wonderful because you can see how your predictions turn out immediately. You can literally do a stock prediction for 24 hours, or 10 minutes or whatever. And if your predictions work, you might become a very rich person. But of course, there's a lot of risk with that. So definitely look into your own algorithms before you try inserting any money into these stocks. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Those were 10 different projects I could definitely recommend if you're learning Python or you want to improve your Python skills. If you have any project ideas, feel free to leave them in the comment section down below. And as always, guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.